everlasting doors. Be ye lifted up. And if you do that, guess what? The King of Glory shall come in. You invite him in. You ask him to come in. There's a communication between you and the King. Yes, and he wants to come into not only our lives individually, we know he wants to be a part of our marriage, but we also know that we have to give him the invitation to come yes. on in, come on in, come on in. So we thank God this morning, or this afternoon, as we come into the space to offer prayers for marriages all yes. across the world. Yes. And we think about one of the things that we understand to be very destructive to the marriage, marital relationship is communication. Communication is one of the top two things that disrupt, that derails marriages. And we understand too that oftentimes, you know, most of us can communicate relatively well, but the challenge thereof is listening. So with listening, we understand it does require not only patience, but it requires a spirit of humility. Yes, and communication it is a two-way thing. It's not just one-sided. You, 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 you talk, you listen. You talk, and you listen. You, you uh, reiterate what your point is, and you allow the other person to, re to reiterate what their point is. So it's a two-way thing. Two-way thing, and that's why the humility is so necessary. It's not optional because it takes a lot to be able to harness those emotions those thoughts and those things that you sometimes believe that you just have to say while your spouse is speaking. So we realize it takes the work of the Holy Spirit for most of us mm -hmm. to be able to open up our ear gates so we can listen and not be so adamant about trying to get our point across. Because without understanding, yes, yes. there is frustration. Without understanding, there's the eroding of trust. Without understanding, we realize that we're pushing one another further and further away. That, that, that is so true. And when it comes to marriage and communicating, just because the other person is not saying anything, mm. that doesn't mean that they are not communicating That's right. with their body gesture, yeah. with their eyes, with yeah. their language, <laughs> with their action. So you have to be able to also read someone's communication with non-verbal. Yeah, read your spouse's body language because we don't understand that body language makes up about 90% of the communication. Mm -hmm. And be sensitive to that. Exactly. Be yes. sensitive yes. to the way that mm -hmm. your mate is wired. Mm -hmm. Be sensitive to their processing methods because some people don't process in the moment all at once and that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it does require us having to give each other space and grace so that we're able to pull back from the conversation, spend time reflecting, spend time positioning ourselves to hear from the Holy Spirit and mm -hmm. then being willing to re-engage. So that means, you know, when your partner is quiet, don't be offended. Just respect the spirit of quietness. <laughs> yes, and there's another gift. If you feel as though you cannot um, reach an agreement, it's okay. Yeah. Come to an agreement and say, okay, you know what, let's table this topic. Let things cool off. Let's go back and re-examine it. Let's go back and re-evaluate it. And then we'll bring it back to the table with a different mindset. Absolutely. So with that being stated, we're going to go into prayer because we understand that the enemy of our soul, he, soul, he loves chaos. He loves when there's conflict and there's friction. And he takes advantage mm -hmm. of those spaces where there is a lack of agreement. But as my husband just stated, a lack of agreement doesn't have to be something that we are intimidated by, mm -hmm. yeah. we are fearful of. Mm -hmm. We can have power and authority over it if we're willing to honor the rules of engagement when we are communicating when there is not the when we don't see things eye to eye, that we can still honor one another, yes. pull back from the situation, hold on to respect, hold on to our dignities, 
life, we allow the Holy Spirit to do the work on our hearts. And so get that, and get we might be that's a whole okay. other conversation. But uh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. Him, yes, yes, not allowing pride to take us into captivity. Mm -hmm. So on that note, let's go to the cross. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. Thank you. We thank bless you. you. We honor you, God. Mm. We consider it an honor to call you our Father, God, God. God. Mm. because you are such a loving Father. Yes. You know, you such a loving Father. But God, you hear us, God. Mm. You hear our cry. You hear our call. You hear our groan. So, mm. Father, we lift marriages up to you right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, God, we ask that you restore. We ask that you renew. We ask that you yes. revive, God. We ask yes. that you open up the channels mm -hmm. of communication, God. Mm -hmm. Effective communication mm -hmm. between husband and wife and children, mm -hmm. God. And not just marriages, but families as a whole, Father. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, God. Mm -hmm. Allow families to sit down, God, and state their viewpoint, God, in the name of love, God. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. God. We thank you for love, God. We thank you for peace, God. We thank you for joy. We, take, we thank you for righteousness, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Yes. We thank you, God. Yes. We love you, Father. Yes. And Father, we thank you, God, for the grace that you have made available to us. Grace that will give us the strength to be able to harness our viewpoint. Grace that you've given us to be able to sit, to be able to listen, God. Listen without being judged, listen without being threatened by mm -hmm. our spouse's viewpoint. Grace that you've given us to have our capacities increase where our mindsets are increased. Grace that you've given us to be transformed so that we can reflect Christ in our marriages, God. We thank you for the new mercies, God. You give us new mercy each and every day. So we thank you for your willingness to forgive us when we fall short. And we pray that we will exercise mercy inside of our relationship. But Father, we also thank you that you will give us um, the fruit of the Spirit. Yes. May the fruit of the Spirit thank grow you. and increase in, in our minds yes. and in our hearts yes. so that love, peace, joy, uh, patience, and self-control, and meekness, and temperance will come forth in a way where healing and transformation can take place so that we can get to the place of understanding, where we can get to the place of walking in agreement, where we can get to the place where we are in power and we become a testimony, we become a witness of your goodness, God. So we pull down belief systems that we have to always be right. We pull down mindsets that say that we have to get to last word. We pull down um, the spirit, God, of haughtiness, the spirit of pride, the spirit of self-righteousness, God. We pull it down and send it back to the kingdom of darkness. We pray that you reign, your spirit will reign in our marriages. Your spirit will reign in the way that we engage when there's a disagreement. That you would reign, Father. May you reign in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you, God. We thank you for the help of God. We mm. thank you, God, for yes. the Holy Spirit, yes. God, that is our comfort, that is right. our help of God, that is our God, God, mm. that allows us to control our tongue, control mm. our mouth, God. Mm. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for your Holy Spirit, God, mm. that allows us to be long-suffering, yes. God. In the name of Jesus, mm. God. Thank you, God, for to be temperate, God. In the name of Jesus, mm. God, we thank you, God, for your Holy Spirit, God, that groans for us, God, mm. even when we don't know what to pray for, yeah. even when we don't know how to say it, mm. even when we don't know how to communicate it, God. Mm. The Holy Spirit groans and intercedes for us, God. And we thank you, God, for your, our helper and our comfort and our guide. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 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 So we're going to make these decorations over you. And then we have an announcement we're going to make. Um, but one of the decorations that comes to my mind is I want you to come into agreement with God's word yes. that your tongue will be mm. used to only speak life yes. into your marriage. Mm. 
that you will use your tongue to only speak life and not death. Yes. And that your tongue is the pen of a ready writer, which means that God has given you the power and the authority to declare life in your marriage and in your family. Because it is something that may have need to be said, yes. or may have need to be stated, or mm -hmm. some a subject that may have be able for you to talk about. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You have, there's a spirit that you do. There's a spirit that you do. Yes. Have. So Holy yes. Spirit, give me the right spirit to conduct it. Yeah, and that brings to mind uh, Proverbs 14:1 that says that a wise woman builds up her builds up. Yeah. And a foolish one tears it down. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we can be angry, but the word of God tells us to sin not. To sin not, sin not. So are you ready for the confession? Are you ready for them to go and with confessions in their mouth? Yeah, yeah. So we just made some declarations. So here's one. I can be angry. I can be angry. Frustrated. Frustrated. Disappointed. And disappointed? Yeah. And disappointed. And sad. And sad. <coughs> but I will not sin. But you will not allow it to lead into sin. Yes, yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Di death and life. Death and life. Is in the power. Is in the power. Of my tongue. Of my tongue. I will only speak life. I will only speak <coughs> life. <coughs> in my marriage. In my marriage. Last but not least, Lord, Lord, set a guard, set a guard over my mouth, Ooh, over my mouth, <coughs> and keep watch, and keep watch at the door of my lips, at the door. <coughs> Amen. Amen. And the announcement is, I'll let you announce it because I'm trying to. Mm -hmm. We will be. <coughs> away from Facebook, so we ask that you all subscribe, like on our YouTube channel, yes. and that's where most of our information will be coming from from now on. The, our YouTube channel. <coughs> yes, excuse me. So you're going to be able to see a link on this video, which will give you the ability to follow us over on YouTube. Mm -hmm. We will be ceasing our time here on Facebook very shortly. Um, we will be here next week, next Tuesday, yes. but thereafter we can't promise you. Yes. So, but nonetheless, we will make we're making a commitment to you know to you to go there to so follow us, and we look forward to continue to share with you and to pray and to intercede. And that's all we have. Go in peace. God bless you. Bye bye. bye. See you later.